Okay. I date men. Okay, you date men. Only men, only older. Watch as Conan and Sona slip on the banana peel of math. We'll help them get there in the end. How much <laughs> older than you do these men have to be? As much as they can, and it's not creepy. Well, well wait, okay, what's... this is really interesting to me. What's creepy? Not... <laughs> if towing the line of creepiness is not the most Conan reason to use math, I don't know what is. But... There's that old formula. Creepy. What is it if you double, you half, take half your age? Half your age? Half of, uh, wait a minute. Ca half of what is Cammy's it? age is 18, more or yeah. less. and then you... What? And then you add like add seven or something. Seven. What is it? Can you look this up? I sure can look it up. The formula for the older partner is start with your age, divide by two, add seven, and that gives you the minimum age you can date without being creepy. Of course, this woman wants to be the younger partner, so this formula doesn't quite work in this situation. That's part of their struggle, and the producer is about to clear that up, sort of. It's half your age plus seven. Plus seven. To define the minimum age of a partner and your age minus seven times two. Okay, you just... I can't follow any of that. Okay, here I feel for you, Conan. The producer breathes right past the most important part, the formula for the younger partner, which they should be using here. And they're about to figure out why. So for her, it would be 18 and a half plus 7. Okay. No, but right. she wants someone older No, no, than she her. wants someone older than her. So you oh. have to do it the other so, way. So, Sona's right. You have to do it the other way. The divide by two formula goes the wrong direction. But you can't just jump into doing it the other way without knowing what doing it the other way really means. Or maybe you can try. Well, if she's 37, you multiply 37 by two, add... No, can't no, we just go no, half? You have can we get plus, NASA? Can we get plus NASA plus on the phone? I'm not NASA, but I can help. Boy, if I were Mark Rober right now, the NASA jokes I could make. What they're looking for is the mathematical inverse of this formula. In general, a function's inverse undoes whatever that function does. If you're older than like five years old, you already have an intuitive understanding of this. Putting on your shoes is a function that, well, puts on your shoes. And its inverse is taking off your shoes. Simple. To put on your shoes in the morning, you first put on your socks, then put on your shoes, then tie your laces. At the end of the day, to take off your shoes, you do the opposite steps in the opposite order. First, untie your laces, then take off your shoes, and then take off your socks. If you don't do exactly the opposite steps in exactly the opposite order, then you're left doing stuff like trying to take off your socks before you've even untied your laces. Which is exactly what Sona was doing here. If she's 37, you multiply 37 by 2, add... No, can't no. we just go- Ooh, so close. Sona started to say you take the younger age, multiply by two, and then add no. But that's not quite right because no is not a number. Seriously, she's almost there, just not quite doing the inverse correctly. And now we know how to help her. Just like taking off our shoes, we can easily figure out the inverse by doing, say it with me, the opposite steps in the opposite order. Start with the formula for the older person. Flip the steps and then do the opposite of each. Now we can see the formula for this Conan fan is first subtract by 7, then multiply by 2, which gives us the maximum age she can date without it being creepy. So the answer is 37 minus 7 times 2 equals 60. Let's tune back into the conversation and tell them. The aliens came to talk to my wife and she said, please take me with you. 60 uh -huh. is the answer. But listen, I I'm not going to be the first one 60 is the answer. 60 is the answer. No, no, what I'm saying. 60 is the answer for her. So you can't go above 60. You can't go above 60. Uh, I just turned 60. Now, does 60 seem creepy to you? A bit, yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're exactly oh! 60. For more fun math and computer science content, check out this video and subscribe for more. And maybe share this video with that special someone who's no less than half your age plus seven and no more than your age minus seven times two. Until then, see ya.